morning, Sunday morning, beautiful crisp autumnal day. The sun's in the eyes. That's where we stayed last night. Very nice. We even had a bath, so soaked all the muscles. So yeah, so we're up. We've had our breakfast, we've had a couple of coffees, and uh gonna start the last sort of egg. It's about 20 miles from, from here to Inverness. So we're gonna head up. I think there's a lot of road work, road walking this morning. So I probably won't do much video because you know we sort of when I've got the dog and that on the lead, I don't I want to concentrate on keeping safe more than videos. And uh once we get up off the road probably do a bit more as a um a lake uh, like a um nature park and there's also an eco campsite so we'll have a trip up there and uh yeah see if we can get it'll be good to sort of get say 11 12 mile on the way today and then it's a shorter walk tomorrow to inverness and have a look down there so right let's go get inverness and then we'll get a taxi back here and collect the car job done 14 by road or 20 by track so yeah we'll take the 20 by track i think and uh keep the great then way so there's the sign so let's follow that let's see where we're right we've been walking a while now from drum oh down the road and then up through the woods and the hill and that so just coming up on the top here I think this is the last sort of hill we need to climb for the walk which is quite uh, pleasing because the last couple of days has been tough it's been worth it mind the views so anyway we're talking to a couple of dog walkers back there locals and they said when they come up to here there should be a track yep there it is the track going down past the derelict farm and you go up follow the track up and over that hill and it goes down you get a nice view of the lock actually i think i'll go up there and have a cuppa have, have a bit of lunch um yeah then the track follows down by the down the hill there um to some woods and they cut it through the woods and there's a little whiskey whiskey sort of stash I said it's it's good it's worth going and having a look it's a, uh, like a little sort of hut if you like this is you know you could sleep sleep in it if you want to do um, but I think it's used for like education for the kids because I know there's a um, there's like a nature park that we're going to walk up to soon um i think there's all sorts of kids activities gets done there through the week and yeah, i think so some of the school kids go there to learn stuff as well so i think there's a few little interesting things dotted about so we're going to go up on the top and then uh i think she says go up go on the top and then come back along the top to back onto this track meet the great grand way back up so we've got plenty of time because we're going to split Drum in Inverness in the two days, like sort of two ten milers or twelve and an eight or eleven and a nine or whatever. So we're just going to carry on. Um, I might see if we can wild camp at the nature reserve because I've heard mixed things about the eco campsite. But you know, there's always someone got something good to say, and there's always someone got something bad to say. So you know, I'm not going to make any comments on that because I've never been. But if, if I can find somewhere that's nice, that's not the camps, like your campsite, I may as well camp there. So yeah, so we'll carry on and then uh, see if we can find this little whiskey place, see what that's all about, and then come back around and join the Great Glen Way. Nearly there now, so what we've got about a day and a half. Spend a bit of time walking around Inverness and that, and aye, it's been very, very good. But I'll, um, I think I'm gonna do a video as well when I get home of just like you know the actual experience, 
that me and him have had. The good bits, the bad bits, the funny bits. You know, because um, it is, it is worth knowing these things. If anyone else was not wanting to come, you know, the little hints and tips, things you need to know. You know, but anyway, we'll do a video on that maybe when we get home. So, I'm looking like I'm going the wrong way because I'm talking to you. Right, come on, we're going to go this way. Right, speak soon. Right, we've just come off the Great Glen Way. Over there, come across this sort of moor, if you like, or hill. Looking over onto Loch Ness. Uh, let's come over here for a break, really, to get a view. Got uh, some water boiling. A trusty cup shot. Let's have a break. So here, let me little sit pad. Best one pound ninety nine I spent that. Tell you what it is, if you look at the, the stuff I brought on this holiday, the bag and all the rest of it, for that, for what it weighs and what it costs, definitely get yourself one of them. It just makes sitting down so much better instead of sitting on a cold rock. You know, you know it's hard rock, you're sitting on one of them. Great little things. So anyway, I'm gonna continue down here into the woods. Uh, a couple of guys were saying there's like a little Funky whiskey, still come boffy, come shelter thing in the woods, which is worth a visit. So, we're having a little detour because we've got loads of time to paint tomorrow. I'm going to go up through the woods, over the top of the hill, round there, and meet up with the Great Glen Way again. So, yeah, so I'm just going to have some lunch and just sit and admire that view. Because, uh, yeah coming to an end unfortunately but what a trip as you can see there's that nest down there winding its way around towards Inverness which is just over behind that hill I would say probably 10 mile because uh, I think we're nearly nearly halfway I drum a rock. Not sure. But uh just left the Great Glen A Trail and we're gonna head down through these woods. There's a funny little like whiskey hut somewhere down there. Come across, it's worth a visit. And then we're gonna go up over the top and then take a left, meet back up with the Great Glen Way and head down towards the Eagle Campsite. There's also like a nature park thing there as well, which is the back of this. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look, see if we can find a place to camp down there. We've got plenty of time yet. We'll probably camp over there somewhere, and then it'll be about a nine, ten miler in Inverness tomorrow. We'll have a wander on Inverness, and that'll be it. Which is sad, really, because I've been very lucky with the weather and. Had a great little adventure, but it's not over yet. So, yeah, we'll continue down here into the woods, see if we can find this whis whiskey, little whiskey hut. I think it's something to do with the kids or something because it's a, as they say, there's a big nature park, all sorts, all sorts of activities and that, which is fantastic. But, right, yes, we're going to have an explore. So, we're just coming over from a drummer Dotic. We've been going about three or four hours now, I think. It's getting on for sort of early afternoon. And we've just come down off the Great Glen Way. Just come through this little country park. So I've been giving a heads up. To see what a lovely little place it is. Go for a little explore. And there was a sign down there saying whiskey still. I came up here. Found this little path. Look at this. Yeah, obviously that's my bag. Look at this though. That was that for a little hideaway. Yeah, I don't know if the video will pick it up. It's quite dark. Look. Yeah, like a little whiskey still boffy. 
So it's a little bit of book here. So you can see me and Mr. Kate left a little note in to see where we've been. What a great place so seeing there's no whiskey. But I you could uh, it's a bit spooky where you could come in here. And uh, it's too early though. Too early to stay here first today. What a fantastic little place. Isn't it? You can sense some it's probably mice. Excellent. These are the things you find in the woods. That was worth it, so we even found the whiskey. Hut, hut, buffy, whatever you want to call it. Seen some lovely views. So a little bit of a detour. Maybe a mile, mile and a half. And uh, coming back down here, I'm pleased to see that my map reading skills work because there's a familiar little blue post that we've been following for the last six days, which means we're back on the Great Glen Way. And that way, we take we down to that abandoned farm where we left. Yep, super. Back on the way. Nice little detour. Right, let's carry on. Right, I think it's about half past three now on uh, Sunday. And uh, yeah, we're coming down towards the Abbot, Abbot Chin Eco Park and Nature Reserve. But uh, oh, I'm feeling it now, like walking on these gravel tracks. It's great because they're not muddy or nothing. But they're hard on your feet. Like, I've got my boots on. I wouldn't recommend anyone do this in train out. It's just, you know, solid, hard ground. Oh, but we're nearly there. Um, reading a little book I think it's a hill all the way down soon um, down to the car park in the little um, lock lake so hopefully we'll get there make a cup of tea and see where I can get camping that night and we've got my last stretch tomorrow which again talking to two dog walkers and uh, the ones who told us to go and visit that little whiskey hut, I said, really, once you get round the top of here, it's downhill all the way to Inverness, which is good news because these last couple of days been hard, they've been worth it for the views. You see, you've done it there, but it's took me tall now. Like, I must be. Getting in for what's the water? Is it? it was 75 mile? I keep forgetting whether it's 73, 75, 77, or 79. It says 75, it feels more like 85, eh? But if I've got say 11 mile in the nest from the campsite, see one mile at the campsite, so that's 12. So yeah, I must be up to about 63 mile now. Ooh. Yeah, when you watch these videos, some people make it look so easy. But, uh, it's not like, <laughs> well, not for me. But I've done it. You know, at the end of the day, we're here. It's been tough, but uh, I've loved it. But hopefully, within the next hour, we'll be sitting on a picnic bench somewhere seeing that's the walk finish for the day and uh, just getting ready to sit put a tent up on that and just sit and uh, have a have a hiking meal tonight I think I've got a pasta mushroom pasta one or something so try that anyway I've got one beer in my bag it's probably warm 
down and find some water source to put it in and cool it down for 10 minutes. That would be a bonus. It's not worse than one beer. Right. Anyway. We're nearly there. Keep it going. Come on. This is the right look. Downhill. Oh. I'm glad of that. I only just think I couldn't go up another hill. But what we've got there, the main clump that. So that's what, six mile? We've walked. There's an SD 8.8, so that's about uh, 12. So 12 miles. 12 miles to the nest. Oh, that's about right then. So yes, yeah, so by the time we get to the bottom of here, it'll be about 11 miles in the nest, aye. Cool. It's all downhill from here. Right, so we've just been hanging around for a bit um, down at the country park. It's getting on for about. Just check me watch there. Getting on for about half past six. Probably be dark in an hour. Um, there's only two two cars left in the car park. Two families still about. So um, I've just got me. The kit down here, we just have a little wonder. Hey, dear, eh? just don't want to, want to put my tent up just yet. So I'll just uh, give it another half an hour or so, let them disappear. Like the code of wild camping, isn't it? Pitch there, leave early. So we're going to uh, find another lovely little pitch. Check with the, the lady who seems to be running the place. Said we could pitch here, just me and the dog, so yeah. I said I'd be up and away in the morning before uh, before everyone else arrives. So we're just going to have a little wander around. These little jetties and that all seem to like lead to little, little interesting parts. So we're going to have a little walk around and uh, head back up there. Yeah, I can't stop you on it. Yeah, we head back up there and uh, get the tent, get some food on. <laughs> And uh, I'll probably end up having an early night, but we'll see. You never know, we might get to see some stars tonight. So it's nice if you can do that, but uh, that means it'll be cold. So anyway, right, we're going to have a little explore and uh, I'll be back later. Right guys, just like I said before, uh, I'm in this sort of little country park. There's all sorts of uh, school activities and all sorts goes on here through the week. And it was uh, really, really busy before. Loads of families out on bikes and dogs and all sorts. There's loads of climbing frames and places to explore. Fantastic. There's even come Austin toilets there. It's like the perfect camping spot. So anyway, um, there's little mister. Yoo-hoo! Um, anyway, so everyone's now gone. It is ten past seven. The sun is setting over there, which you can't really see because there's no sunset. But uh, it's it's strange because I think this is like my last wild camp. Um, I certainly, for the Great Glen, I'll be in Inverness tomorrow. Uh, it's it's funny because it's I feel as though like a great sense of achievement that I'm so close to finishing it and I've done it and I've wanted to do it for years. But on the same hand, I'm I feel a bit emotional because it's it's been good, it's been tiring, it's you know, and uh, got a lot of memories. Me and him spent you know being great little mates together last week. And so, yeah, it's it's a bit sad to see it coming to an end, but I suppose in a way you've got to look at that and think, well, you know, it's because I've had such a good time. So, anyway, let's remain positive. So, yes, so he has me set up for the night. Dead easy. I, I didn't, I took quite a bit, well, not quite a bit of stuff. I took um, everything just 
bother necessarily out my rucksack when I left this morning when I left Drummer Drotter because I left the car there. So basically, I've got I've got my food for tonight, which is uh, pasta ai fungi, pasta and fungus. I uh, I think it means mushroom mushroom pasta. Never had that before, so we'll give it a go. Um, I haven't had a dehydrated one before either, so again, giving it a go, see what it's like. I've got a mint chocolate. Um, my water, there's a river, well, a beck running through underneath that bridge, so I can get loads of water from there. I've given me a little sit mat to sit on, my little cook system in there. I haven't brought any beer, um, to be honest. I just thought, you know what, I can't be bothered to carry it, because it's quite heavy, and... Uh, won't do us any harm not to have a beer tonight. So, anyway, so looking in here, in there, I've got a porridge and a banana for tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> yes, it's all about you. Um, so, I've got my, his sleeping blanket. That, yeah, the blue one's yours, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you're falling asleep on mine here. I've got my Burkhouse. 200 um it's done all right actually um i've got me insulated mountain Ex express mountain warehouse insulated mat i've got me trekology ul80 and i've got me trekology pillow i've got a fleece if i need to put that on and i've also got the clothes i've got on me back so got me hat um so, I don't know, I'm not bad if I, if I need to sleep in what I'm wearing. I will. You know, last night and all that. Everything needs to go in the wash when I get home anyway, so sleeping in my clothes for another night's not going to really change anything. But yeah, that's me little tent set up. And uh, me little Pioneer. Me little All Pro Pioneer 2. I got for 67 quid in the spring when I decided I was going to start wild camping because I've only actually started wild camping this year it, you'll know that if you look at me other videos in there John is really proud it's uh, stood up the rain stood up the wind and yeah touch wood so yeah right well I'm going to go and get some water and I'm going to get some tea on and just sit and take it all in and I think he's in bed for the night you see him in there yeah He's quite happy. I tell you what it is though, just something funny. All week since I first camped last Monday at Fort William, I've never had any midges at all. Hiking or camping. Um and obviously it is the I'm saying obviously you won't know. It. It's the twenty seventh of September, so you wouldn't expect to have any. And there's a few, not many, nothing to aggravate you. There are a couple around here at night, and you know it's the very end of September. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. Early start tomorrow, because I promised the lady I'd be up and away before any sign of life came, which is only right. It's been good enough to let us camp here. Um, and, I, you know, I would say anyone else doing the trail, if you want to come and camp here, just ask her permission first. You know what it's like if you ask someone. It's off the battle. If she said no, there's always the eco campsite, which is just down that road. It's a five minute walk. Um, so you know you're not stuck. But anyway, yes, and then uh unless something exciting happens, I shall see you in the morning when we're setting off to complete our adventure. Gonna be in for you. Because the lighting's not that good. It's uh, pitch black. It's 20 past nine. Uh, had me tea. A pasta fungi thing. Really nice actually. Yeah. Um, dead simple to make. Just boil the water, put it in the bag, leave it for eight minutes. Stir it a bit. And then eat it. Really nice. Definitely get one of them again. So just all cozy in my sleeping bag. Um, so yeah, so that's it, all ready for tomorrow's adventure. Have a little explore of Inverness and then uh, at home.
So uh, good night from us. We'll see you tomorrow.